Hey guys, we're back here in the sunny east coast of Singapore. This is Elvin Mark, you're here on my art channel. Today we take out our oil painting gear for some oil painting action. Oh, look at that. I can probably fit in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> We stumble into a group of people playing a game of beach tennis. I don't think I've seen this game being played before, so this is going to be a treat. I'm here with my plein air oil painting buddy Richard, and we're gonna learn more about the new panel format that he has prepared for his painting. How exciting! And that is why I need light minded buddies to keep me on my toes. Guys, so we're here at the East Coast Park. You've been here before because right there, just about uh, about 100 meters away, is the Amber Beacon. And if you've not caught that video, you can check this one right out. Today, I'm gonna attempt to paint people in motion. They're gonna be playing a game of beach tennis. I think these guys are either from Portugal or from Brazil. I'll go chat up with them later, but. Um, I was given this by Richard. It's aluminum with uh, three coats of gesso on this. Really light and it's archival quality. Um, but because I think I'm gonna attack people moving um, and there's a group of them, four of them playing right now. So I'm gonna go on a large, slightly larger format a 9x12 uh, and this one is by Fedrix. Yeah, I'm gonna save this for a rainy day. I'm gonna save this for something really special because this is like really good stuff. Uh, let's go check with Richard what on earth this is made out of. Hey Richard, can you explain what this is again? It's aluminum? Yeah, it's uh uh, aluminium composite panel, three millimeters. And how many coats of uh, gesso? Three coats. What do you use for the gesso? Uh, particularly, do you use golden gesso? Can't find. I couldn't find Jack Golden, so I just went for Winsor and Newton. Oh, okay. Um, Straits has it. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. And it comes in a, like one gallon. So two coats with uh, the roller. Yeah. And then the last coat with the brush. I didn't. Did I sand it? No, but I mean it doesn't need that's to That's fine, no, no, Sorry, that's fine. Yeah. It, that's really good, thank you. I'll tell you one thing, I bought it, I bought a sheet, uh, 1 meter 22 by 2 meters 44. You cut it with a cutting knife. So you cut it to the dimension that you want. Yeah. It's. It, I think it's cheaper than probably the, the panels you buy in art frame. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Well, if you're going to do it, because there's a few things that you've got to be careful of. Right? First thing is you've it's got shot. to cut it. Yeah. You've got to ask them to cut it like two or three times so you can get it into a taxi. Because it's massive. I mean, two meters twenty is like this. Huh? Yeah. Let's make a picture right now. I'll be starting the initial drawing stage in real time so you get to get a sense of how slowly I'm putting down these initial lines very carefully. And then later, I'll speed things up when adding color. Cutting brush would be a fat one, but because of the tall coconut trees and lanky characters in the scene, I've decided to use my Rosemary Ivory Filbert Size Zero brush during this initial drawing stage.
I take a time lapse. Yeah, oh, of my work so because people, you, yeah, oh. people want to see on YouTube, and then I put it on YouTube. Oh, so you put it on YouTube? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Instagram. Can I take a picture? Yeah. But maybe with you there. You should show your face. Yeah. See what the art is. <laughs> but the lights not good there. Uh. But we need to show. Okay. I'll do something. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Now this does. So where he yeah, got his... Okay, hey, I want to show how to get created. Excellent! Wow, well done. Look at that. Amazing, I like the color. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> Thanks for being our models. <laughs> Thank you. This area specifically is called East Coast Parkland. It's really nice out here today. Fewer locals out here doing their thing. So it's giving us a lot of space to paint and uh, really just enjoy ourselves. Do you see that? <laughs> this Hong Kong just landed like inches away from me. Um, oh, it's still damp and wet. I should leave this area ASAP. It went like that. They say that the Pong Pong is poisonous. The kernels contain a toxin that blocks the calcium ion channels in the heart muscles, causing death. But it looks like that's not the only way one can be harmed by the fruit. Anyway, we're glad to have bumped into this group of beach tennis players many of whom are residents here from Brazil. It was a clear choice for my painting subject today. Thank you guys. Obrigado a todos. So, see, the group actually keeps it, dismantles the nets and everything um, around it. And I thought the nets were here permanently. So apparently they come here on Mondays, Wednesdays, Fridays and Saturdays. So if you guys are interested, yeah, you might want to look them up. Beach tennis here in Singapore. These lots, you don't reserve them. You have to just come uh, early and book them. It's like first come, first serve. Uh, bonjour. Okay, guys, I think I'm done. Thanks for tuning in. This is Elvin Mark. If you like my stuff, uh, if you like what I put out, do give it a thumbs up. It's really apt to say it now. Everyone, ciao ciao until the next episode. Ciao with a T-C-H-A-U. Let's stay tuned to the next episode where we learn more about ends. <laughs>